Hello, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So, last video we have seen some introduction about Metro Studio, right? So, how, like what we can do over here and what are the things we can perform. So, see, this is the molecule we have designed in the last lecture. Okay. Suppose you want to find out the bond length over here, what is the bond length, right? So, we can see here, right? Just click on the bond and this left side down here, you can see the bond length, right? 1.53898 angstrom. Okay, so this bond length is roughly around 1.54 angstrom. So see, these values are in angstrom. Okay, suppose you want to change the color of this bond, right? Right now it is uh, this gray color, but it's pre default. If you want to change the color, what you can go here on the colors RGB, and from here you can change the color of bond. Okay, similarly for atom, when you are clicking atom, you can see this the, the atom. Okay, and if you want to change the color of this atom, you can double click here and you can change the color from here. Okay. So, and suppose, uh, see, we can see the bond angle from here, but what about bond angles and the dihedral angles over here? So, what you need to do is, see, I have told you about this measure and changes over here. Just click here if you want to measure the bond length. So, bond length is a distance between two points, right? So, you need to select two atoms over here. Suppose I have selected this and this. So, the bond length 1.540 it has given, right? Similarly, if you want to measure the uh, bond angle, suppose you want to delete this now. So just click on the arrow, select this and press delete button. That's all. Okay. Now suppose you want to measure the bond angle, bond angle. So what do you need to do? You need to select angle. So generally, you know that angle is between three points, right? So you need to select three atoms minimum to have a, you know, the angle. So I have selected these three atoms. So the angle between these three is 109.249. That is the angle between this right similarly if you want to measure the plane or the dihedral angle or the torsion angle so what we can do is see this fragment uh, i will just this fragment right so this fragment is looking like ethane staggered form right so in this i will find out the dihedral angle between this atom this atom this atom and this atom this dihedral angle what is the dihedral angle is just the uh, you know the angle between two planes so this two atom will be making one plane and this two atom will be making one plane so the angle you know the difference between that two plane will is the dihedral angle, right? So we'll click here, select torsion. In, for the torsion, you need to select four atoms, right? So that you will be having two planes, and it will give you the, you know, the difference. Two atom, third atom, and fourth atom. We have selected four atom, and we got this value 178.953. This is the dihedral angle, right? So generally, it has to be 180 degree in the staggered form but in the cyclohexane conformation because of this is the board conformation right see this is the eclipse one so because of such uh, you know perturbation in this molecule you are seeing just 178.953 okay so here you can see clearly right so this angle is between the this plane this ch plane and this ch plane so this dihedral angle is between two planes right it can be positive it can be negative doesn't matter okay if see same thing if you are going in the right direction it will be positive if you are going left dire direction it will be negative unit will be changed but the things will be same right here so similarly it doesn't that negative sign over here it is um, don't worry about that so like that you can measure all those things suppose you want to you know again this is the board confirmation you want to change board confirmation to some other confirmation so for what you need to do is you have to modify uh, any at atom so along with that hydrogen also you have to consider right you just select it by pressing control and clicking on the element you can select this entire fragment now go to this movement tool from here you can make it down suppose you want to make some other confirmation of the cyclohexane you can do that right so see so like that we can do okay yeah after doing this uh, what you need to do go to the clean and then you go to the symmetry find symmetry and snap symmetry so you got this cs symmetry for this obviously right your sigma b plane will be going through this sigma plane that mirror plane so this is this cs confirmation which is what see this is what confirmation of cyclohexane yeah so like that you can uh, tune the molecule in a way that you want right 
So in the next video tutorial, we'll be uh, learning about how to design a nano sheet. Okay. And uh, then we'll be seeing how to submit a calculation. Uh, see, if you want to perform a molecular calculation in this, just go to the demol 3 calculation. And here you can find out the uh, geometry optimization you can perform. So in the next video, I'll tell you what is the, you know, what is the Demol, soft, Demol 3 software, what is the difference between CASTEP and Demol 3, what is the advantage, advantage of Demol 3 over uh, CASTEP and the vice versa. So every software has their own application, right? So I'll tell you in the brief so that, see, you can select a specific software for a specific problem, right? It's not like you just choose software just based on your intuition. We have to, you know, depending on the problem, we have to select the tool. Sometimes suppose you have a um, polymer like you have a biological system, you can, we cannot perform quantum calculation. We cannot use Demol3 or CASTEP. In that case, we have to use uh, this classical mechanics based softwares like Foresight and all. Okay, so like that we have to, uh, you know, based on the system, we have to decide the level of theory and the software tool mechanism, everything we have to decide. So be in touch. I'll tell you all those secrets, how to do performance, how to choose a theory like uh, software and how which software will be beneficial for what I'll be revealing all those secrets to you. Thank you for watching.